Zen City, how are you doing right now? Hi Brian, I'm doing really good. I started my day with a good workout. So I'm feeling really empowered right now. After a good workout, I feel back to myself. I hope everybody is doing well, despite the amount of girls you've interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> Laban. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Michelle Teresa Imperial Gumabao and I'm representing Quezon City. Okay, so you have 30 seconds to answer each question. Tell us more something about this. As everybody knows, I'm a professional athlete, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm an advocate, I'm a motivational speaker. And all of this came from my experiences of being a volleyball player. I've learned so much, I've grown so much, and that is one of my biggest advantages coming into this pageant. What is one beautiful word in Tagalog and what does it mean? Maganda! <laughs> it means beautiful. I love that word because it represents each woman, each Filipina, and it says a lot about our culture. I hope that we all learn to encourage our women and to lift them up to be confident and to be empowered. Uh, what is that one learning experience that you have as a child that made so much impact on you? <laughs> I have been uh, highly supported by my parents and what they taught me is to encourage others, to support others, to work with others. That's why it benefited me as a team player playing sports and it also benefited me joining beauty pageants because you represent an organization. Working with them, collaborating with them and uh, being a spokesperson, you have to know how to encourage other people. That is one of the most valuable lessons that my parents has imparted on me. What about doing this thing? One of the greatest lessons during this pandemic, among a lot, is to be generous. I learned how to be generous not only with my words, by checking up on people, but also with my time. I have spent my time putting up an organization called Your 200 Pesos. We were able to serve thousands of families, not only in Metro Manila, but in the nearby provinces. I learned that if more people are generous, then less people will become hungry, less people will struggle, and we will have a more united Philippines. Uh, if you win, what do you plan to do for, uh, for your community? I have been working a lot for sports. I have been part of uh, different organizations of the government. But if I do win Miss Universe Philippines, I do know that the role is to represent the organization. I'm willing to learn more about the advocacy of Miss Universe Philippines, to work with them, to empower women, and to believe and stand by all the values that they also believe in. What color do you think represents the phenomenal woman? Green represents a phenomenal woman. Aside from it being the color of life, in my experience, it is the color of champions. I graduated from De La Salle University with three championships in my back, and I know that this is a color that inspires and empowers and shows off a strong and confident phenomenal woman. <laughs> I'm biased. <laughs> Allow me to be... <laughs> Yes, Bob. So, what do you think are the skills needed nowadays in what you call the workplace of the future? I work from home as an athlete. We cannot have uh, physical trainings. And one of the most important values that I've learned is to be disciplined. Nobody is watching you. Nobody is uh, telling you what to do. You have to know what it takes to become better. And that is my goal every single day. And it takes so much discipline to wake up in the morning, to set a schedule, despite not having physical work and not being able to report to a physical office. It's very important for children, for workers, and for office mates in general. If there is one spot in Quezon City, whether natural or man-made, that you'd like to promote in the world, what would it be? Super damn there. <laughs> Quezon City Circle, I must say. It was one of the most popular um, landmarks of Quezon City. But more than that, it's a place that I've been to ever since I was young. And recently, because of the pageant, I was able to visit and film there. And I've seen how much they preserved it. The culture, the beauty. And you can see so much. The tomb of Manuel El Quezon, the Philippine Car Museum, if you haven't visited, is a definite must place to go. 
there's a campaign it's called hashtag love local yes pop so what local products do you want to promote we all know Quezon City is popular for the celebrities. Our main product is people, entertainment. But in this journey for Miss Universe Philippines, I'd really like to promote garments and textile. If you are not familiar with Kamuning Textile Market, it's very popular and a lot of people go. And I know that uh, with our everyday activities, being a Miss Universe Philippines candidate, I can showcase the different designers and the different products from my own city. Last question for you is, what's one thing that you think young people should focus on? Young people like you. Young people should focus on their dreams. And uh, to achieve those dreams, you have to prepare yourself and equip yourself. Keep on learning, keep on growing, keep on taking risks. But at the end of the day, our dreams are our own. And uh, no matter how much people criticize you or put you down, you have to empower yourself first before you want to empower others. Thank you. Thank you. The market is so famous for fashion. Filipino Yes, because when people think about Quezon City, instantly it's GMA, ABS, artistas. But we have a lot of designers in Timog alone. And that's because they're close to Kamuning, the resource for textile. Thank you, Pa. I'm just really excited. I have nervousness. I actually have stage fright, but... I can feel it calming down because I'm more sure of who I am. So when I'm going to be there, I'm just excited to showcase all of the work that I've been doing. <laughs> I know you're hungry. Thank you very much. It's Mark Bumgarner. Oh, wow. mm. I know that wow. Yes. <laughs> I'm very happy because uh, this is the first time I get to wear Mark. So I'm very blessed. Or yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Grab it. <laughs> okay. Tell us something more about yourself. Okay. Since it's the last part, I'm gonna make something fun. I don't know if all of you know, but I really wish to have a tree house. I want to build my own little tree house. Dito sa Shargao. That is one of my biggest dreams, talaga. But not just a any tree house. It's a tiny tree house. So that is something that's really dear to me. And I want to have a sustainable place where I can just grow my vegetables, get my water. That's really what I would like. Thank you. <laughs> what is one beautiful word in your language and what does it mean? So, Tagalog, basically, for you? Mm, meron ng dami ng word ng gusto ko sa Tagalog, but I think the best word that I can describe is m mabuhay. Because it's so unique. It's the only thing that once you um, announce yourself, that's the first thing that you say. You say, mabuhay! And everybody knows naman that you're from the Philippines. So that's the word I choose. <laughs> okay, so what is that one really experience that you have with a child that makes so much I have many actually, but the one that I would love to go back to is my childhood. And my childhood because I had such an amazing time with my mom and dad. They come from different cultures, but I had to embrace both of them. My Filipina side, my French side, and at the same time, I grew up in Macau. So I ako ng Chinese also. So I learned Chinese, and at the same time, after Chinese, I also went to a Portuguese school. So it was a lot to embrace, but I really learned so much. And what I learned is that we all have different traditions, cultures. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, there are many lessons I've learned during this pandemic. I feel like I become a woman during this pandemic. I became 26 years old. I faced a lot of challenges. I went from having no team to being my own style team to being my own financial supporter to being my number one router. And that is one of the biggest lessons that I can say is that I'm so proud to be in Miss Universe Philippines. Even with the pandemic, I feel that I'm accomplishing one of my biggest dreams. And it's a very big challenge, but I can say that I'm confident in who I am and who I'm becoming, and I'm so happy. Thank you, Direk. <laughs> Sorry. If you win the title, how do you plan to further help your community? 
Well, if I do get the chance to be Miss Universe Philippines, the thing that I would say the most is how about mental health? It's something really dear to me because I've experienced depression. I've been through a lot of abuse in my life. And I don't want anyone to have um, a stigma behind it. I want people to understand and be more open-minded to open communication in your family, especially here in Filipinas. I feel like a lot of us have this crab mentality. A lot of us have a lot of things that we don't want to share to the world. And that's something that I know it's my advantage because I firsthand was there and no. Thank you. <laughs> what color do you think symbolizes the sort of phenomenal woman? Mm, I would say morena, morena skin, and that's something that I really embrace. A lot of the people here said Philippines, unfortunately, we have been brainwashed for maybe just uh, embracing white people's skin. But that's not actually our colors because we are different types of Filipina. All of us have different colors and we should embrace all of them. But for me, I'm a morena, so I will embrace morena. That's what I will choose. Thank you. Um, we've been hearing a lot of... We're, um, work from home is now part of the media. Yes. So what do you think is a skill needed to, um, for this new type of, uh, for this new workspace or new workplace of the future? Um, there's a lot of things that we need. For sure, of course, we need to put our health in first hand. Like I said, I think mental health is very important, but I would also go with things that are simple, like bakery or food. That's essential for this time. I think that's the things that are keeping us going, you know? We have to support our local brands. We have to support all of our friends. Even the fashion industry is getting a big hit. So if we can do anything from Zoom online, anything that is um, communicating still, I know it's very difficult, but it's something that we will need and we can do. Thank you. Um, if there's one uh, place or spot in the game, yes. whether it's man-made or natural, that you want to promote to the world, what would yes. it be? Well, I live next year. I'm very fortunate to be near um, Fort Strip. So I really, really like this place because it has a bunch of everything. It, we are known to be an entertainment zone, but at the same time, we have our sustainability. So thankful for all of the people that have their own back, um, in the, in the man backyard, but their own balcony. They can grow also their veggies and fruits. But the place that I would say for me it would be Fort Strip, one of my favorite coffee places. And it has because coffee. Yes. <laughs> There's a campaign now that's hashtag not love local. Yes. What local product would you want? Well, I, uh, yesterday when I had my rehearsals, I was wearing Bench, and they have local made products now, so I'm really, really proud of that. So I would promote Bench because it's very affordable, it's very Filipino, all of the things that are made there are authentic, and I like to wear something that is representing of us. Thank you. Uh, one last question for you is, what's one thing you think young people should focus on? Okay, there are many things that young people should focus on, but one of the biggest things that they should focus on is how to be confident in yourself. What does that mean exactly? You have to ask the most difficult questions. What do you want to do with your life? What is your biggest purpose? What is something that will make you happy? Because a lot of young people have the opportunity to learn so much. We have the internet and that's so uh, a gift in itself. You can learn so many things. Ako naman, I learned my makeup in my internet. So that is one of the biggest advantages. But we need to learn how to use our things properly. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know that you're all tired, but just one more lang and then we're good. <laughs> Salamat. To all of my supporters, all of the Lemonades, every single person is actually supporting the Miss Universe Philippines. I want to thank you so much. I know that this is not the pageant that you all expected due to the pandemic, but we are doing so much hard work and we are trying to keep up the energy. It is sleepless nights. A lot of work has been gone through these nine months. And I really want to say thank you so much for still being here, still supporting us, ladies. And from the bottom of my heart, my Lemonades, I love you so much. Thank you to my family, to my boyfriend, to be my number one supporter, and I love you.